Oh, okay. Receiving your content. Yes. 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 Okay, I think we're back. Make sure the audio is good. I think that audio is good. Cool. Oh, yep. I need to um. I think the uh. I actually think my noise noise might be a little aggressive. Our noise removal might be a little aggressive, but I can't really tweak that. Now nah, what you gotta do? It's either whooshing or this. There's a short lag between video and audio. Slightly out of sync. That's weird. Wasn't that way before? I didn't change anything. Maybe uh, YouTube delay is just different. Which wouldn't make any sense. Are you sure it wasn't there before? It may have been there before. And you're just noticing it now. Maybe. It was delayed on Twitch too? Ah, cups, thank you. Yeah, I've never done really hardcore uh, matching. Okay, that's what I figured. Greg, why did I switch from Twitch? Because Twitch could not take my data. The stream was getting all chunky. Oh, Bruce had no issues. Well, well, if Bruce had no issues, then there must not be any issues. I'm gonna guess it's our apartment. Yeah, no, I, th I think so. Well, maybe. I think it's both. Because I'm actually, I'm sending out data to YouTube pretty reliably right now. Yeah, it's actually really solid. So there's... It's Twitch itself, or some ingest... Or some, um... Some node along the way that can't handle on the dang... All those dang bits! The live chat box is shorter than Twitch. Yes, Cubs, you can pop it out, um, and then resize it if you want. There's a couple of things about the layout on YouTube that I don't quite understand. Some things that are just... Don't make sense. Especially when it's been done. Like, there's no reason to make the chat that much smaller. There's really no reason for uh, there to not be a theater mode. Um, or rather, a theater mode that removes chat. And if there's no theater mode, it seems kind of silly that the search bar and other things take up a portion of the screen. It's just like, why? why? They're, they're just... These lessons should have been learned already. Theater mode doesn't make sense for streaming? Yeah. It removes chat. It's stupid. The the only the only solution I found is to pop out the player and then pop out chat and then just kind of make your own window. YT gaming skin is a lot closer to Twitch sizings. Yeah, it's a yeah. I mean, I was talking about YouTube gaming actually. It's closer, but it's still like it doesn't efficiently makes make use of a lot of the real estate, or it doesn't certainly doesn't expose the options for you to decide where you want everything. Yeah, video solid. Um, bit rates maybe a little low for 60, but I don't think it's even 60, so it works out. Used to do that all the time on Mixer. What, like resize your own window elements by popping everything out? Sucks on mobile. Yeah, uh, the, the mobile YouTube gaming app isn't so bad. Are you are you talking about uh, just the? Um, are you are you on the web version of YouTube gaming? Or you on that app? Find us moving to X videos, man. I don't know. We got to do something. We'll figure it out. I mean, ideally, ideally, Rooster Teeth just becomes the video platform that we are on, or the main one, the main one that matters. You know, ideally, ideally, these this the strategy is we're on YouTube. We put some content on YouTube because you have to be on YouTube, and that's how people discover us. But then we say, hey, if you want more of our content. Go over to this service, and that's where we can like make money and um, share pro promotion efforts with other Rooster Teeth shows and things like that. Twitch pod mods have no power here. A lot of them do. Oh wait, that's orange. Yes, I got it. Okay, so it just—is it a random drop thing? I just have to kill enough of these things. I don't know. 
Hey, Shark Tooth. How you doing? Dane 2K? <sighs> and Alloy times three. Okay, fuck it. Who cares? Dane 2K, that is a nice nut. Quality nut. <laughs> I didn't know that there was a fucking nut emoji. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't ban me like yesterday. Well, this time you're asking not to be banned, so it should work out, right? <clears throat> Start Rooster Teeth cards like Blizzard does with WoW. Oh, you mean like sell them at stores and stuff? Sell first memberships? Not a bad idea. They did just add the ability to gift first memberships, so. Uh, Manual, what's the name? Uh, this is Nier. N I E R. This is a game that came out before Nier Automata, which came out at the beginning of this year. Everyone loves it. It's made by Platinum Games. Um, I'm playing through this so I can start that. But, uh, I'm actually kind of enjoying it along the process. Oh yeah, Michael, I saw I saw Mercy's changes in the PTR. Very interesting. Have you seen the new Mercy? Uh, I, I watched the Jeff Kaplan video about it. Oh, I didn't I'll, see the video. And then all I could think of was, <laughs> No more Mercy! Rezzing everybody! How I have to fucking time my goddamn diva ults. So I'm like, did she rest? Did she rest? Excellent. No, I'll get and everyone as soon as they pop out. fucking ult. So I'm like, now, now it's gonna be different. It's gonna be very different. I, I, every tweak that Blizzard made, makes to Overwatch reveals just how fucking good at game design they are. Because it's like, the ult, ults are so interesting. It's, it's so much, Overwatch is such a game of like, you have to play really well, but ults can decide a match. Like, ults trump skills sometimes, depending on when you, when you use them and how. Um, and there's, there's like, there's the game itself, which is shooting, positioning, using your abilities at the right time, accuracy... Um, health packs, map awareness. And then there's the ult game that kind of stacks on top of that. Like, uh, when you know ults are coming up, how to position yourself when you know your enemy has ults, which ults they have, I don't shit. So it's it's fascinating to me that Blizzard can tweak one of those games and leave the other one alone. So, like, Mercy's changes... Her getting res every 30 seconds does kind of change the the minute-to-minute -minute game. But... They can completely rework the ult side of it so that the ult doesn't overpower the moment-to-moment -moment game. It's so amazing, so amazing. You should make a movie podcast about a movie called Operation Dunkirk. They tricked me to buy that movie because I thought it was the original Dunkirk. Yeah, Lynx, unfortunately that stuff happens all the time. There are entire production houses that make their... make their living writing in the wake of popular ones. I have something sparking in the background. Whatever. Oh, now I can go down the elevator. It's fantastic. Whatever. Alright, let's see if I can strengthen up anything. I can't. Oh, I got 152 attack power, though, so that's cool. L.A. Near. Oh, L.A. Noir! Rock Lance, thank you for reminding me. I was trying to, uh... There was another game I was like, well, I just finished Doom. Maybe I'm going to start up something new. It was L.A. Noir. I need to start that up. Oh, I love L.A. Noir. I'll do that this weekend. L.A. Noir is really good. Think of fun sort of moves that RT is their platform. Would we have to pay a subscription for some content? It would be like it is now. I think it would just be more like. Maybe. Maybe it would be more of a division. If right now it's like 95 5 in terms of content that lives on YouTube versus content oh. that lives on the, the website, I think it might be something like. There'd be a split, but split of content. Some stuff is free, some stuff behind the age gate, or behind the pay gate. But I think it would be more like what the ratio we were told is something more like 80-20. So 80% of our content lives on YouTube, and 20% lives on Rooster Teeth. Whether it's um, hold on. I need something loud. Oh, wait, hold on. Now. Trademark Elgato Desync. I'm seeing the. Okay, so you, if you if you're concerned about sync, you have to be very specific. Um, is it the sync of the game audio to the game video? Yes, talking about. Plug the weed stream. It's there. What's up, Jub Jub? Jub Jub Jub. 
or pay fund us the majority of what I watch on YouTube, I don't know that it necessarily all be paid. Um, it may just be that some videos live open to watch for free on Brewster's site. I changed it when he last streamed. Bug didn't update. Said she'd be deep inside the mountain. Is this stream only on YouTube? Yes, Team Man. Oh, Mike to webcam. Okay. That has nothing to do with an Elgato. Growing up without um, fear. at least in my setup, it doesn't. I just want to help however I can. Good job, booty hole. You're a hero. Yeah, that, that's something I'd have to test out. That's that's just trial and error. I don't really know what I can do about that right now. Alright, now we're doing a dungeon. Sweet. For the DRT site doesn't work as well as YouTube's forest quality, but I can't confirm. No, Bennett, you're right. The DRT site's not great. Really not great. It's... it's... you know what? It's bad. It's real bad. The player's not good. You can't discover anything. It's choked with promotions. It's... it reminds me a lot of Facebook. When you... when you hit the front page, it's just a bunch of stuff that Rooster Teeth wants you to see, and you have no way of finding anything for yourself. And that's not a good experience at all. Yeah, what's what's up, uh Knock? I'm just gonna say knock. Knock, I don't know. I'm doing good though. Was was sent to thrown into the arms of YouTube because Twitch couldn't even damn take in anything. What's up, Nick? Thanks for the donation. Nothing beats Nothing beats getting free money for playing a video game. Rambling incessantly. This game looks interesting. Yeah, Steve, it's it's weird, man. There's, um... Part of it is kind of more traditional open-world action RPG stuff. You get quests, you run around, you find things. And then, for some... For some segments, the camera will swing overhead, and it becomes a shoot-'em-up. Like a platforming shoot-'em-up. It's crazy. There have been a few games like it, but not many. Like the Red Star on PS2. Nobody remembers this stuff. So it's an interesting mix. I don't think I've seen the game really go go wacky with what it can can do. Kind of interested to see what happens as I go. Default couch. You can only watch for a little bit yesterday. Well, I'm back. And man, if if Twitch keeps going going bonkers on me, I just don't know what to do. Aside from just switch to YouTube. Um, Twitch is probably seeing another population influx of YouTube ad juju going on. Yeah, perhaps. That doesn't make any sense, though. The revenue you get on Twitch is identical to what you can get on YouTube. Except YouTube used to have ad revenue as well. And it doesn't anymore. Or, it's getting... It's getting touchy. Oh, hey, JGM. What's up, down, downtown street? Yeah, I'm gonna have to... It's gonna be interesting learning the translations of everybody's usernames and stuff. But um, hopefully this one's working out a lot better. If it's not, let me know. I don't know what necessarily I would do about that. Oh, I can break this. All right, there we go. I know nothing about the near universe, but this looks nothing like Automata. Yeah, they're not. My understanding is they're not super, super connected. Thank, <coughs> you. Mm, thank you. Yeah, Cubs, yours, your, yours is the same, which makes it very easy. <laughs> then boy, Nintendo boy, I will. Don't worry about it. It's it's there. Oh, I blew myself up. Oh, I need to put the yeah the Zax mug. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'll get it in there. Um. But yeah, what was I about to talk about? Corm, I did see. Uh, I've been told about the leak for Yakuza 2, which is awesome. I'm glad that uh, got people looking out for me in chat. Got my interests at heart. I have to go down here. I need to turn the game up a little bit. My goal um, with... I think I need to boost my gain a little on my mic, too. I'll find, a, I'll find a great compromise someday, but... My ultimate goal was to make it so that both myself and the game were very audible. And if you separate two audio sources by about 10 to 15 decibels, it stays that way. Except games go up and down, vocals go up and down. It's hard to maintain really even keel of vocals or of audio separation to make it audible. And that's why compressors are great. Or just hard limiters, that's good too. You just slam gain on it until it's way high and then 
chop off the top to make sure it doesn't peek out, and you're good. But, um, as far as I know, there's probably a plugin somewhere, but I haven't found a, uh, plugin for OBS that does hard limiting. Oh my gosh. I gotta take a... I gotta take a sip before I get on this minecart. Hmm. Nintendo Boy. Yeah, that's right. You were you were very insistent that I um I turn the uh or I make the uh well, that is just walk forward to make it go. You're very insistent that I make the beat mini stream public. I will, dude. Don't have to worry about it. It will happen. I just I try to go at least a little in order. I think I've got four or five streams to uh to set up before that. Cubs gonna take off. All right. Yeah, I'll figure it out, Cubs. Thanks, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for saying hi. So yeah, there's like a wacky minecart section where I have to use magic blast to uh, dodge things. Oh, I'm sipping whiskey. Close. Bourbon. Combo plus magic charm. It's unlocking all these tutorials. I should read them. There's probably a whole lot of uh, mechanics that I'm not even paying attention to. Wall kicks. Cool. Alright. Okay. Actually didn't know that. Right moment after a sidestep. Okay. Yeah, Nintendo Boy, this is Undertale. Every game is Undertale. Oh, hi Zeal, dude, what's up? It's been a while, man. I just, uh, I saw you tweet the other day, and I was like, ah, there he is! We still have your fan art on the wall at the office, dude. Oh, Lind, you're, uh, downloading Doom? Yeah. Doom is tight. The new Doom is great. Hard for me to imagine a better modern reinterpretation of, of Doom. If you love old Doom, there's there's really you got to nitpick pretty hard to find a problem with it. People have but they're nitpicking, they're picking nits. I'm realizing now what an antiquated phrase that is. Do people say that anymore? Oh, you can fall off. Okay. There's way too many changes to what? Doom? Piano Man, do you ever get called Larry? Only by my mom. <laughs> they find a place for the doodles you send? I mean, there's a folder on my hard drive. Huh? I get most- oh, you can blow those up. I get those digitally, so... Which is kind of how I prefer it, to be honest. Right? Mercy changes in Overwatch. Oh! Right, sorry. I think it'll be okay. I... It, it's amusing to me. Blizzard has yet to... Well, I guess... I guess, I guess theories would, would uh, vary on this. But in my, in my experience, Blizzard has yet to ever ruin the balance of a game with a patch. It just doesn't happen. Also, it's in PTR, so if it is too much, they'll look at the data and they'll figure it out. I don't know, man. You just gotta have faith. Are you a Halo fan? I... Eh. I vacation in Halo fandom, but I certainly don't live there. Can I get a VOD of last night's DJ Weep stream? It'll be up on my channel eventually. I just gotta make a thumbnail for it. I don't have all day to do this stuff, man. I got a job. I gotta eat food sometimes. Sometimes I gotta drink bourbon and just lay on the couch and stare at the ceiling. You know how it is. This, uh... This is just fun for me. This is side stuff. I like this. I like playing video games and chatting with people. One of my favorite things to do... And I think, um... If this is something I ever did for a living, which is unlikely, but... I would probably do, like, a weekly or... A weekly thing where I, I endeavor to find and configure some old weird game. Just some, some like expression of gaming culture that's been forgotten. Those are my favorite streams when some streamer just has like a fucking Sega Saturn 
and a copy of some dumb game that, that time forgot. This music reminds you of Grandia 1. Hmm. Ermore, that's a pretty deep cut. I, I don't quite remember the music from Grandia 1, to be honest. I do remember really liking that game. Grandia 1 and 2 were solid. Um, it's weird that they don't come up more when people like talk about golden PlayStation RPGs. It's always the square raft of games and maybe Legend of Dragoon! How's YouTube chat compared to Twitch chat so far? Um, fuck. It, from my perspective, minus the emotes, it's it's fairly identical. Who can't possibly believe that the mother managed to fight her way down here? Hmm. Or for that matter, yes. she's been collecting scrap metal for a solid week. Hmm. Hmm. Open your eyes, fool. The woman's clearly. But yes. That's enough, boys. My mods are great. And they are they are wonderful, even tempered and fair, and I appreciate that. So for me, it's all great. This is we're gonna see more of House Party. I don't know. I don't know that there's necessarily a whole lot, whole lot more to that game. Also, Adam looked it up and he was like, "Yeah, we basically got as far as you can get in that game without it getting really weird. You pretty much have to either like blackmail or take advantage of all the girls to get to have sex with them." So, we, we like played the part of the game that's fun. Once you get further in those quests, it starts to get pretty messed up. Um, Town Branch Bourbon. I'm not familiar with that. I'll keep an eye out for it. Cut to the four disc of Le fourth, fourth disc of Legend of Dragoon, and then my cousin wanted his PlayStation back. Man, Skio, that hurts. Hmm. Even tempered and fair has never been used to describe me. Ha <laughs> No, it's... I don't hold it against you guys for, uh, for chasing off that guy on the last stream. I don't. Some, I mean, sometimes it's like, somebody feels they've been done wrong, they can't let it go, they get really catty and dumb, and then... I think, I think in certain situations, it... Someone could, if they really wanted to be, be the biggest person and let dumb shit go. There's not a whole lot of reason to do that, though. So, whatever. Also, to Katamari... I would love to play Katamari, but I've played them all to death. I feel like there's nothing left to do in that game. I haven't, I haven't hundred percented it. I don't know that I, I don't know that I'm gamer enough to hundred percent Katamari. Was it, uh, beautiful Katamari, the 360 one. See, playing Destiny 2 on PC or Xbox? PC. Got that slick frame rate. And actually, play Viva Pinata on stream. Evan, I've done that before. Viva Pinata is dope. Mr. Oh. Twitch bitch. No, no, Rock. It's it's nothing so dramatic. It's somebody who got timed out for getting a little mouthy. He was upset about getting timed out. He wouldn't let it go. And he was just he didn't get banned or anything. He was just like, ah, you know, I'm done with this. So you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. What's going on? It's all right. No feelings hurt on any side. Oh, we love Katamari? That oh, was fun. It was a bunch of, like, classic levels though. Is this the first boss? Cool, it's a little Andros robot. When you plan on streaming, um, what's my opinion on cephalopods? I'm down with cephalopods, eh? Alright. Um, as far as how long I'm streaming, I would say I usually go for around two, maybe like one and a half to two hours on weeknights. So, probably for another hour or so. Had some, uh, had some tech setup issues. Ah, shit. So this is an interesting, like... Be aware of your surroundings. Interesting boss. Oh! You know he's gonna stop. How about you stop talking and yeah, start that'd helping. be great if you... Fuck, man. I keep eating... I can't tell if I'm getting hit or not. Also, the... I can't tell if... That look right? Oh, good, I hit him. Can you just run up and... Oh, you can. Oh, shit! Drink some stream. Ian, I'm glad you're having a good night. Ooh! See, that's really fascinating the way... It... Ow! The way it, like, does the same attack pattern, but from different camera perspectives, which makes it a pretty fundamentally different challenge. It's cool stuff.
I remember, it's interesting because this is actually a pretty like, unique and inventive game in terms of mechanics. Uh, come on, mechanics, hope you know. Let yourself be crushed. Thank you, Grimoire. <laughs> yeah. Thanks thanks for speaking for me, Booty Hole. It's interesting though, it had like it's got like really unique gameplay. Watch out for the it's shadows. it's oddly uh aspirational for a Japanese developed game. They didn't really do the whole open world action RPG thing in this era. They were mostly just making PlayStation 2 games in HD. It's got decent voice acting. It's got pretty edgy, uh, pretty edgy translations. Ends up sounding pretty natural, but there's a lot of like swearing, proper swearing, not just, not just like, I'm a 13 year old and I just discovered how to say fuck type swearing, which was also common at the time. Um, will you stream Destiny 2? And if yes, can I play with you, Kevin? Um, my answer to that is a little nuanced. I don't typically make an effort to play with with people, but if you want to try to figure out a way to play with me, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go out of my way either way. And I have I have some pretty uh, some pretty uh, you know, this this won't be surprising when it comes to me, but I have some pretty rambling and excessively wordy reasons for that, which I can get into if you. Just hear it. This machine is quite a handful. It may not be necessary. Clear them all out. That's the only way. Honestly, I gotta go to some coffee shop and expect them to have what Starbucks has and gets mad when they don't. I mean, you don't have a toasted coconut iced coffee. What do you mean? This is a coffee shop, isn't it? I want a grande. I didn't say large grande. I don't know that I've ever been that guy. I put in too much time in, like, food service to be that guy. I dealt with that guy. Get Destiny 2 for Xbox because I don't have a PC? Steve, you make a compelling argument! I think you've convinced me. You know, although I will say, once One X comes out, that's basically gonna be my, my like, hierarchy of consoles. Consoles, I don't know if you count Switch in there, but... It's basically going to be high-end stuff is PC or Xbox or One X, um, depending. Um, and then, like, everything that I guess exists in sort of mid-tier. Um, all the all the like single A games that are on Steam and stuff like that that get ported to Switch. Switch has basically become my like my portable Steam machine. That's all I want to play on it. Steam games that I I don't want to play on Steam. Near and Persona 5 worth playing? Um, I don't know that I can answer that for you. It depends what kind of games you like. They're not they're not very similar, despite both being super Japanese. Um, Persona 5's fucking long, man. If you like more class classic sensibilities in your JRP in your J Japanese games, your J games. It's hard to hard to say anything against Persona 5. It's got great music, pretty good writing. Solid voice acting. It's long as fuck. If you play it on hard, it will it will paddle you. It'll make you try. A lot of JRPGs don't. I love that voice. It's just so like laced out with opium. Now that remains is that oversized head. It's like a uh, a little more posh Johnny Depp. We played XCOM. Yeah, played all the XCOMs, my dude. I played XCOM Interceptor, <laughs> which is something no one in chat cares about. I don't know why I say these things. One X is going to be my primary console. Thinking PlayStation because of the games, but Switch looks good as fuck. D Boss Man, this is a this is an e <laughs> unpause the game pussy. Fair. Um, I know that this is a very privileged thing to say, but man, why not both? I think at this point, I think I don't know. I think between Xbox One and PlayStation Four, those are probably the two consoles that are the whoa. Those are probably the ones that are the most similar, um, in terms of their offering. Throw it! Great. Nailed it. Magic has no effect against the head. Yeah. You're on a giant cat. Wait, what? Am I? Are you just talking about the planet Earth? Like me right now, existentially, I'm on a giant cat called Earth. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's what you mean. 
Try tossing that bomb in his mouth. I know. I think I've heard that plan before. Remember the laser, though. Ha! It's working. I did it. Really, the mouth. Such a mouth Wait, anything good? Point. You watching a Crunchyroll? Hashtag not sponsored. Uh, couch. I'm watching um, the show to end all shows. My Hero Academia. Which, by the way, is exactly Naruto so far. Like, they went into the fucking thing to do their exam, and then adult villains came out and fought them. It's exactly the Chunin exam from Naruto. Exactly that. I don't. I mean, I don't mind because then when they went into the forest and fought a rich tomorrow, and it's even like the get-ups the same. It's a school with kids who have powers, and they're all quirky and weird, and you kind of learn about their powers and there's the main character that because of his origin was destined to not be a thing but he's gonna be a thing because he just tries so hard at it i don't mind like but it's just like dang this is just naruto man which means it's probably gonna go for years and years and years and get, get annoying and maybe not the tune exam arc is dope it's worth rehash i was on the edge of my seat during that shit man rochimar shows up it's like the escalation is off the charts too because the Hokage comes out at the end and they fucking throw down. I was alright. I was alright. But I do not like Sword Art Online. Don't even call it. You troll me. The first, like, 12 minutes, or 12 episodes of Sword Art Online are pretty good. But once the. Asuna and Sus Susano, I don't remember their names, whatever. Once they, like, start a weird digital family with a, a digi, digi elf or whatever the fuck was going on there, then it gets weird. Sword Art Online 2 sucks. Sword Art Online 2 is just the most anime to ever anime, and I hate it. Kirito gets so much puss. That's the main character? He's not a puss getter, though. And that's when it's like, okay, you're just purely writing self insertion shit for your male, male viewers, though. Hero Academia is pretty good so far. I like it. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's exactly Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Michael, someone who doesn't watch it. anime, this goes over my head. That's where it belongs. Actually, it belongs well under your head. I'll say that it goes under your ass. That is what anime does. Oh, shit. More missiles. Sir, we're shooting missiles at him. None of them are hitting. What do we do? Uh, 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 shoot more! Okay. Eh! I missed. Is it gonna respawn? It's not. Alright, cool. Or does this game align with a new one? Preston, I don't know. My understanding is that it's like... Thousands of years apart, so it's like not exactly all that connected. I don't know what happened. I, I think like... Is it Sega? I think Sega just had the rights to it. And Platinum looked at the mechanics of it, and they're like, Yeah, we can do something with that. And then they made an amazing game. I think that's really all there is to it. So it's not like it's not like someone had a, a vision when it, in regards to the story. When do you stream? Uh, Michael. I guess I don't have an easy thing to direct you to. Typically, I do uh, Tuesday, Wednesday... Or, sorry, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Pacific. Oh, Square Enix! Right, Gray. Yeah, I don't know why I was thinking Sega. Um, so yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Pacific. Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific. I don't always start exactly then, but usually I try to make it so I am streaming when that time starts, so it might be early. Weeknights, sometimes I'm a little late. Like <laughs> Julian, I love you. Keep telling me why I'm wrong for my stupid millennial opinions. It's not just millennials, Julian. Everyone's wrong for their stupid opinions. <laughs> well, it's... Here's the thing, Julian. Being moderate's not funny. Um, so a, what I lo a lot of what I do on camera is remove the moderation. I'm actually a pretty moderate guy. At least I think I am. In some ways. Okay, I was checking to see if Stephanie was glaring at me. <laughs> well, you can't see because I got my hood up. Oh, I see. Lawrence uh, is an interesting It's a person. woman's body. I wouldn't I have it any other way. Discovered the delinquent mother. Why is every woman in this game... She's got company. She's wearing... Step, take a look. This girl's wearing crotch-high boots and a little bikini thing, but also just, like, rags? Well, of 
course. Tattered rags? Well, of course. She, she's wearing the, the most modern and new rag. Although everybody's in, like, full outfits, right? Not, not main homie dude here. Well, he's I mean, got he's, straps. Oh, well, because he's got to show off his chest. Creepy he's got hair. Real, yeah, cool, pointy hair. Jeez. Modern, except for when it comes to booze, I'm working, I'm working my way down. That's style, Lawrence. Get with it. Yeah, I need to, I need to get into it. Is your past streams and grinding out in games? Excellent, Michael. That's it's interesting because that's that's what I aspire to be. Someone else's background noise. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's I like my that. job. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Stephanie's going to be the next Twitch Lord. I guess Tube Lord. I'm now. currently working on <clears throat> creating Pinterest boards for people because I, I <laughs> mainly just because I like this idea of looking for things that I would put in other people's homes. It's not exactly metal harvesting gear, is it? I really it's wish that this could be a job. She abandoned her children to seek comfort in the arms of a swain. I want to be a nerd interior designer. Well, you could do a Twitch IRL stream where you just scroll through Pinterest. And show people, like, this is what you could get. Sure. And, like, please don't oh. pick these things for your home. This, this is, is dumb. This is damn. ugly. This is ugly. If you like it. What is this? Like, I don't yeah. understand what this rug so is. It's like Native American truth. wavelength. I'm That's sure what this looks like. It's like a weird, long. like, corally, what will you tell the truth? dusty turquoise. No, that's incorrect. Nobody should have that in their house. Well. Oh. Steph, I think you've got a bright future. I don't know. I'm talking shit about things I find yeah. on Pinterest. Yeah, bagging on shit you find Including on Pinterest. Including this, there's a long rug that you can put into your bathroom What's this? that looks like a, a picture bottle? of a beach because there's like a little bit of like wave, like the, the edge of a wave, like the foam back. from like ocean water. And in the sand is the word love. So someone wrote love, took a photo of it, and then turn it into a long fucking rug so that you stand on it when you get out of the shower. Yeah, it's like and you're standing I, on the beach with love. And if I went to somebody's house and saw that, I'd spit on it. Beach Why of love. This is stupid. Look at it. Well, it's they wouldn't stupid. know. They'd just think it's a drip from the showers. Look at it. It's so stupid. Oh. Why? Um, Why you do this? Michael, no, that wasn't mean at all. Um, my favorite streams are the ones I listen to in exactly the context you're talking about. Like, there are, there are a few streamers where when they're on, I'm like, Yes! Time to go put that on another TV and play my favorite game and just let the world go away. I like that stuff. It's, it's, it's like cocooning yourself in media. It's great. Mmm. Couch, I am drinking bourbon. I don't remember exactly what kind. I don't know. It was the moderate I gotta be honest one then, right? from Trader Joe's. It's pretty good. It's not as, not as uh, mellow. Round. I don't know if that's a word for it. Remember this song? Okay. Um, Alright, let's throw this one to... Let's throw, hey, interactive interactive stream. Should I lie to this kid or not? Should I say, hey kid, your mom's dead? Why don't you tell me what to do? Oh, Skio, interesting. Find an entertaining but also chill streamer that doesn't blow out your speakers with excitement. I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, I guess I guess the money is in 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 hollering your damn head off. And I realize, yeah, I don't really like the streamers because you can't just chill out with them. So let's see what we got here. Jesus Christ, your mom's dead, pussy. All right, lie, dead, lie, truth, lie. Tell him yes. Fuck all the kids. She's in heaven. Dead, dead. Tell truth and then steal shit. <laughs> truth. Truth, truth, stop being a puss. So she's super dead. Break him. Would I miss? <laughs> truth, truth, truth. Hey, uh, hi, May. Uh, I am having a good evening. Thank you for asking. Both of these options are lies. <laughs> oh, shit, Scode. That's a burn. You got him, though. Credit. Uh, just had to stop what I'm doing to say cocooning myself in media is what I'm doing with your stream. You did it. I, I do this stuff because I do it, too. That's the thing. There's this weird conception that, I don't know, it's weird, it's like... I don't want to say anything that sounds too presumptive, but... <laughs> just leave, just walk away. People seem to assume that once you get to a certain point, or renown, 
that you get removed from the thing that you are renowned for. That makes sense. Like, if you're the world's greatest baseball player, you probably don't play baseball much or care about baseball anymore. There's this presumption that you burn out on something or you get disconnected from it. I mean, heaven for me is still just playing Persona 5 with, like, a favorite streamer on the other, other monitor. And then booze. Maybe an edible or two. It's good stuff. Just flying. All right. I think... I the informal sampling of chat seems to say the majority said uh, to break his spirit, crush his soul, and let him know that his mom is super dead. The mother's left this world. Oh, he's not even gonna believe me. This fucking kid. Take his breath away, Top Gun style. Joseph, I believe that you were suggesting that I have a tasteful and sensual 80s love scene with that child. And I don't think that's what I should do. I do like that song, though. I used to, uh... I used to rollerblade to that song. Put it on my little MP3 player and I'll just hit the streets. It's okay. That and my All Rush playlist. Mom was always so frustrated, you know? Torn between her duty to us and her heart. That was a lie. Couldn't be All Rush if I had take my breath away on it. I think this is best. You forgive. There was some crunchy synth in that song. She was my mother, but she was also human, and prone to failure. I know that. We found this next to her. I don't understand why that door is shocking. It smells like her bread. It smells like her. Damn it. I'm not gonna cry. That guy is in every anime. The voice actor of Jacob. If Gideon sees me like this. Damn it. This is the old automata game? Yeah. It's it's the near automata game that doesn't have automata in the title. Alright, well. Alright. Were you the coolest guy in town when you were a kid? Absolutely not. Thank you. No. I was insufferable, man. <laughs> smells like sourdough. It smells like yeast. Right Mom, I miss you. I guess the kid got over it. Yeah, anime Buddha. Back on U YouTube. I tried streaming on Twitch, and it was just a shit show of a stream, man. Kept kept dropping all the time. Should get all the endings in near <sighs> downtown. I'm, I don't want to invest that time, man. I just want to finish the game. Move on to Automata. I can Downtown, is it worth the time? For real, though. With all the games that are out now and all the games that are coming out, for real. Would you really suggest that I get all the endings in Nier Automata over playing Mario Odyssey? Over finishing Persona 5? Over... I mean, I can just watch the endings on YouTube, man. So, is it really worth the time? I'm really gonna, really gonna dedicate to that one. Twitch has been super laggy for me lately. The it's Lawless, the same end. here, man. They've got shades there. And, um, Indeed. And we may just find a but for the fact purpose. that you don't get cheeky little emotes. Oh, in Automata. Okay. I mean, I don't know about Automata. It, it might be fun enough to warrant playing it through that many times, but I thought you were talking about near near one. Because I think it's got the same setup, right? There's multiple endings and you got to play through it multiple times to figure it out. You might as well not play near if you're not going to get all the endings. Great, I like playing the game, though. I'm not playing it for the ending, I'm playing it to play it, so... I mean, I'm enjoying it. I'm not... It's not like if the ending's bad, I'm gonna snap the disc. I know that you like you don't get a thorough understanding of events just by playing it once, but... I just want to play the game. Believe it or not, I don't give a shit about the story, really. Aside from it being kind of quirky and weird and having odd translations here and there. Yeah, I discord and I think my audio is at a sync. I don't quite know. Wait. Oh my god, I'm stupid. There. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that was one setting I forgot to change. I apologize. It, sh it should be a lot better now. I'm, I'm stupid. I was doing a lot of tweaking with my mic um, to get the filter set up, like I said. And uh, for, the sake of, for the sake of testing, I turned off the mic delay to get it... Um, yeah, synced 
Ta -ta -ta. I got it. I'm sorry, guys. That's my fault. Wait, I went to the wrong place. I mean, the only reason I got the first two seasons of The Walking Dead was to try to get emotionally invested into Clementine's story. Or buying the new one seems useless. Uh, yeah. I mean, useless. Whatever, man. It's still... It's still fun, right? Oh, I see. The multiple endings of Automatum are like multiple chapters. The true ending isn't until you complete the main endings. Criminella, does it unlock any new gameplay? That's what I care about. If there's new areas and new levels, they're not bad. And extra good, by the way, if they give you ways to get through the content you've already played faster. Um, Michael, I have played Gear Guild Wars before, but I wouldn't say that I really got into it. There's, at, at every turn, there's like other, other games that appealed to me more than Guild Wars that were like Guild Wars. New characters, yes, it unlocks new endings. Well, yeah. hold on. Eloy says yes. Nocturnal says yes, new characters. M. Gray says new endings. I mean new game content. I don't mean new, new cutscenes, fast travel. I meant content, not endings. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just curious exactly how much new stuff is there and how much old stuff do you have to replay? Yes, new content. Okay, it's all caps. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Well, you know what? There are games that I play multiple times just because I like them so much. So we will see. If, um, if I play Atomata and it's just the best, the best thing, I'll play through multiple. I played through Doom twice. Because I really liked it, and I wanted to try it out on a different difficulty, so... You know, I'll leave it I'll leave it open. But if, if I finish Automata, I'm like... I'm good. I'm good. Then I can just look up the shit on YouTube. Like, there's too many games to play. But people said Automata was oh. choice as hell, so... I mean, really? What? Ew! Ew! <laughs> I don't even know what's wrong with the lower... Like, the... I don't... Ugh... I... <sighs> Man. I like that it's high quality. It's up to eat money. That's what it says. <sighs> Clearly. I yeah, know, it's great. I like that they fr oh, like they framed and they put it on somebody's desk. What are like, you doing like here? Somebody's like, oh, hey, this, this is exactly man, this, what this I'm going to hang on my wall. Angry. You came to help me? Oh, God. I like this girl. Thank you as an order. Hmm. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't, I, can't, I don't know who voice acts this character, but I really like her. She is pissed all the time. Ever think of playing Neo again? Yes, actually, I have. There's a couple of PS4 games I need to catch up on. Uh, there's Yakuza 0 and Neo are like the two the two I kind of left behind. And fucking uh, Horizon. Oh, shut the fuck up. Whoa. More, more, more Overwatch ladies pushing their boobs together and smiling? No, I, which, I mean... Like, there's plenty of that. But somebody's done a bunch of Overwatch art as tattoo flash sheets. Oh, okay. And these are fucking cool as shit. Oh my god, they got a little reaper, and he's got a little boost, and it says die, die, die right below him. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's Laura Bailey? Okay, oh my nice. god, that's amazing. I don't know. But they're all over the village, too. Let's go. Oh man, they we have a little snowball first. heart one. It's like a little, little, little snowflake. Holy shit, that's cute. Jesus Christ, what are you wearing, girl? This is not stepping out of tire. My god. What? That's just straight lingerie. This is what dudes do at anime cons. See a cosplayer dressed like 2B. I like that video game too. Do you think she'll go out with me? Hold on. <laughs> the near focus was perfect. So yeah. Damn it. For a second it was like focused on her instead of him. I gotta get a good shot. Thumb damn it! Hold on, I gotta get, gotta get a good shot for the thumbnail. Don't move. Don't you dare. That's pretty good.
Two B? No, it's more like one B. I don't know. That'd be a DLC costume for Automata? Really? Oh, is she following me around now? She's ninja running too. Now I see what Adam was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, man, when you have to make a bulk of thumbnails, boy, is it better to uh, just get a thumb uh, like a screenshot that you can snip and do some doctoring on. That's so much faster than making an asset from scratch. I got a series of naughty Overwatch Bros stickers where it's them with just their boobs out, or like Tracer's wearing some sort of harness over her butt. <laughs> but they have like perfectly circular areolas and the most eraser-shaped nipples. Whatever. That'd be... F that would be fun to just slap on somebody's monitor. They Cheers, made the, love. the girl from the sexy noodle sticker from Gorillaz. Oh, gross. That is the least sexy thing I can think of. Yep, they made it sexy. No, they didn't. Somebody's review is, The sticker is amazing. I can't wait to see what she does next. I hope you do the song with Pretty they're sure just, she's just gonna sit there. Yeah, they're just all topless. Like, it's not, it's, it's not really that shocking. <laughs> I wonder what she'll do next. Uh, maybe another one that's just stopless. Maybe there her is. boobs will jiggle? Nope, they just sit there, because it's a sticker. I, I want to say, bruh. I I can't yet. I gotta run into the city oh, again. These are really cute. Tracer's ass is better than Widowmaker's? Hmm. Oh man, somebody made Overwatch travel posters. Grace. I'm learning a real love of Nightcore by playing Hoss. Nice. James says, I need a movie recommendation. My favorite movie is Dunstan Checks with Jason Alexander. What movie compares? I don't know what that is. Dunstan Checks In? The monkey movie? Oh, I guess so. Dunstan Checks In. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Don't know about it. Got another boss fight? Well, he's got testicles under his neck, so I know what I'm shooting at. Oh, wouldn't you know? That's the point. Wait, that's more like teats. Keep and I'm dead. Raised. Okay, I forgot what guard is. Left trigger, okay. Playing streaming today? Uh, I think I'll, you know what? I think I'll knock this boss down. And then, um, I think, I'll, I think that'll probably be the end of the stream. Okay. Rot in hell, asshole. Did, did you just say what I think you said? My word. How insulting. Can I just chop him up? Cool. I do appreciate that they are flustered by her. How oh, just horribly ineffectual. Wait, I don't remember what this is. Oh, that's right, you have to like hit it a lot during that, and then you get like a QT shit. There we go. There. Boy, I'm glad I remember that. It's weird, because you can kind of see some... Kind of, it's almost like Bayonetta-esque. And the way he summons up... Giant enemy, or giant fists and feet and stuff sometimes. It's a Glib Lord battle. Fighting the mighty Glib Lord. Grace, I don't mind at all. You guys mind if I take a minute to respect women? I'll take care of the boss. You worry about the rest. You see, she's strong. She's empowered. She's a role model, you see? There's nothing wrong with this. I'm a feminist. I need to take a look at the words I have equipped. Skull Skullcracker? What the heck is this? Not to offend, but Final Fantasy XV sucked. Parts of it sucked. And there was a really great game in there. Um, and if it was all that, it would have been something very, very special. But it wasn't all that. Skullcracker. Alright, there you go. 
The booty shorts give her powers not many can comprehend. Yes, Lawless, I agree. She's a strong, empowered character who I respect. And if you don't, you're the sexist one. Are you, are you sitting around pressing, pressing X to respect women? Yeah, that's all I do in games. Steph, have I ever showed you my controller layout for all video games? Press X is to respect women? I mean, it's cute. Sure, X is respect women. You know what A is? Respect women. You know what Y is? Respect women. B, respect women. Left bumper, right bumper. Respect women. You put in, push them both at the same time? Respect women. Click the left <laughs> stick, click the right stick, respect women. Start is pause. Sometimes you gotta go to the bathroom. Guide button, respect women. Back button, respect women. Hold back button, respect women a little more. Rod, I, I love Final Fantasy XIV. I play, I've been playing that game since Realm Born came out. So I, I take breaks though. Typically I'll wait. What was that? What was that shit? Nothing. Okay. Typically I'll like play through the story content, play through all the dungeons, and I, I'm not necessarily cutting edge. Like I've never done the the coil of Bahamut. I did Alexander though, but I like I haven't really done the Savage or Extreme Primal fights. But I'm into it, man. Um, I'm very slowly plinking my way through the the story quests of uh, Stormblood. How the fuck do I get over there? I need to get down to that platform. Hmm. Yeah, you press F to pay respects, you press X to respect one. Oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> Hold the right bumper to get divorced? Yeah. That's when you don't respect women in the right way. Oh, um, are you playing Stormblood? Right on, man. It's all done. <laughs> Click everything at the same time tells her to make you a sandwich. It's true. It's hard to do, and it ought to be. Like being a woman in today's age and stuff. I gotta get my PC repaired and I'm dying to get back on 14. Get the shakes. Cancels? Tell me about these cancels. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I know about it. It's like you can dodge to cancel out the recovery of certain attacks and stuff. I guess that's what it is. Oh, left trigger to recover quickly. Okay. It's left trigger. I thought I knew it all. And then I knew nothing. SNES controller was the original respect respectful of women controller, unless it's a Mad Cat. I didn't know Mad Cats was around during SNES era. Don't defend me. See, she doesn't need me. She doesn't need me at all. She's a strong independent woman who wears lacy underwear in battle. If you hold respect. If you hold X, then you respect even more to become an ultra feminist. That might be a little too much respect. Whoop! Hold all three to become shit. Well, that is the ultimate form of respecting women, I would say. Dude in my comm class literally said he was a feminist because he asked his girlfriend the type of shit she experienced and it opened his eyes. I was fucking rolling my eyes so hard. Yeah, the the dudes that expect a standing ovation for uh, respecting women. I mean, not like me though. I mean, if you want to like super chat money, that's cool because I respect women a lot. Maybe I deserve it, but whatever. <laughs> Commissar, it's called strategy. Yes, I went for the testicles when it was obvious the tail was the weakness. It's called strategy, bruh. Look, look it up sometime. Oh, what button destroys the patriarchy? You just have to hit respect women a bunch. And then eventually the patriarchy will be destroyed. Whoa. Now it's like a side scroller? Okay. I can't. Ah, oh, shit! Finish it off! This doesn't break. Oh. I'm glad that we're all respecting them. This is great. Shit! Oh, I do not need to fall here. That's pretty bad. Yeah, there's not a lot I can do about that. Mm-hmm. 
breaking this for? Trick is only wife the 2D girls, they won't let you down or leave you. It's true, but what if the power goes out? This is a real game for a real gamer. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say it's in that category. Understand what they want me to do here. <laughs> Darren, I was joking. I'll still take your ten bucks, though. I mean. I feel like I, I deserve it, for all the respecting I did. Yes, Couch, thank you for the clarification. If I'm playing it, then it is a real game for real gamers. Kiwi D. That's how the chip works, bro. When did this game come out? 2008, I think? What? That thing shoots too? Alright, hold on, I got it. This is a thought-free chat. I suppose. When does it become empowering for women to, like, embrace being a thought? It's like, you know, girlfriends calling each other sluts or whatever. Girl, you're such a slut. It's like, oh, girl, you're such a thought. I don't know if that really works. Maybe in four or five years? God's a problem, though. We got monk asses dropping in the YouTube chat now. It's getting real. So it's weird, because they have emoji. They can just rip those all off of Twitch. Maybe they can. Throw one of these out there. Cool, bro. There I go. This ends now, asshole. Every time I see her, I say, girl, what are you wearing? We should join her. I really do like how angry she is. I love that a lot. And her dialogue's actually pretty great. She's uh, pretty authentically foul-mouthed. Oh, yeah. Guys, busting out the Urban Dictionary to figure out what thought stands for. Oh, let me just rotate around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed. And got kicks. Oh, whatever. Is she wearing lingerie? No! She's wearing her battle dress! It's feminine? Her battle lingerie. Yes! <laughs> it's still lingerie! It's feminine, but it's powerful! Yeah, downtown. Some, somebody else mentioned she was voiced by Laura Bailey. I think she did a great job. Despite how common Laura Bailey is, she's great. She was Femship too, right? I thought she did a pretty good job of being, like, rough when she needed to be. It can escape us no longer. Stab its dick! Kinda hates everything. I like her. Okay, so you can't. There is invincibility frames on the dodge. I expected there were. Didn't know for sure. Whoop! Oh, too early. Oh, who cares? There's no reason to style on this boss. I don't think I get anything for uh, exploiting invincibility frames. It's, it looks like if I take two hits in a row, though, it breaks my guards. So. Oh, I didn't see that. So wait, does anyone know, did Yoko Taro work on this game too? Kamazar, you're dropping the ancient memes right now. Attacking the weak spots for a massive damage. what's wrong? Connor, this is near. Not near Automata, near. N-I-E-R. Grandma. So it's weird. Kaine's weird. She's an anime girl, but she still has pretty thick legs. But she has legs for years. So she's got really long legs, but they're a little thicker than most anime ladies. So it's strange. It's hard to get a fix on her. Also, she's wearing underwears. 
Are you done talking? I know. Don't speak to your grandma like that. You're going to stop talking now. And she's then I'm thick. going to walk go. over to you. And I mean, she's not actually thick. She's just thick for anime. Reach into your chest and pull out your fucking heart! <laughs> So mad. Would never say that. She'd never tell oh, so okay. Yukatar did Mir, Drakengard 1 and 3. He's really into, like, really, like, crazily disconnected continuity, huh? Because Drakengards are other games that's, like, they're connected, but to me, in the most, like, obscure ways. Drakengard is a series I never quite got into either. I mean, that was PS2 as well, right? The one we were riding around on the dragon? Magna Carta thick. No, god, no. That's Korean right there. Magna Carta is some real otherworldly thick. I remember, I remember playing Magna Carta for the first time and being like, this art is stirring things. That is, that is some otherworldly thickness. This is this just an invincibility thing? I can't... I probably can't get through. Oh, I'm thinking of Spyro. Yep, that's it. Spyro. Yep. I remember Lawrence was defending how May was thick on an E3 livestream. That's absurd. Why would I even have to defend that? Who was saying May wasn't thick? I don't remember this at all. There's a lot of things I yell when I'm drunk that I forget about nearly immediately. Drakengard is parallel dimension to near. I did not know that. Nokutaro is an interesting fellow. He's on the short list of dudes I'd want to drink with. I got... I'm crushed. I'm under the enemy. I'm under the monster. I don't know where I am. It fell on me! I'm not gonna hit it! What? What happened? It fell on me! Alright, alright. Lesson learned, I guess. Ow! Oh, shit. Is that gonna kill me? Ooh, that was close. What do you think of the May short? Mud of bullshit. I thought it was great. I mean, you have to be kind of an inhuman monster to not not dig uh blizzard shorts. Jesus. They added a lot of health back on. Feel feel a little cheated? Uh whatever. That's what happens when you play fucking Xbox 360 games from 2008. Hold on. What was James's argument here? And the short maze a little chubby? She's a little soft. It's alright. It's alright. Mmm. Right, James was arguing that it was her, her suit. Which, come on. Come on. It's interesting, too, because obesity is becoming a thing in China. So it's... I, I think, like, even more than America and body, body positivity and all that, having a Chinese woman be overweight, and maybe the wrong word, but just, like, not, not Asian thin. I think it shows... Like, it's even, even more than being progressive, I think it understands, like, you're being progressive in the right ways for the markets that really matter to video games. Because, man, if, if you get if you get a following in China, like, if you get China and America and then Europe, what am I looking at right now? Okay, who cares? Ow. I can't be taking those hits, man. I'm actually... Oh, yeah. Hi, May. I saw that I saw that story today. Chinese men are too, too fat and masturbate too much to be in the army. Okay. Now I'm not under it, so I can actually hit the damn thing. There we go. I want to hear Laura Bailey say more dirty things. It works for me. Damn! Fucking 
spiked that fucker. This Laura like, that was my kill, how dare you? Mmm! Woman who can inhale three McDonald's meals in one sitting deserve awards? I don't know that I disagree. Rock Lance? It's true. That, that there is a glib glorb execution. Carne. Where's my achievement? To perish where she lies. Where's my goddamn truth, achievement? Perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. Shut up, Grimoire. It's not shut up. Decision. Yeah, shut up. Mm -hmm. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life with meaning and worth. Do you see them titties, bro? Can't let her die. We respect her too much. Even kind. Maybe I'll get the achievement after I talk to her. Of them on me. Oh, I'm gonna tell her all the words. I'm gonna respect her so hard. Where'd the girl go? She, like, teleported away so that the book and Booty Hole could have a conversation about her and how valuable she is. That short with uh, Roadhog and Junkrat was amazing. Like, the. I always loved them as, like, the Abbott and Costello pairing. But it did remind me a lot of, um... Just like the comedic timing and the expressiveness of old Disney shorts. Uh-oh. Resonator, you gonna drop a doodle? You gonna drop a did diddle Oh, she's anime floating. Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. I'm looking forward to fat-ass Roadhog running and healing. Huffing his heel gas. Just... <laughs> Roadhog's cool. Ah. That's what respect looks like. Respect saves lives, okay? Come on. Hey Manny. Welcome. Are you one of those Navi Usun haters in video games? Me. Scoat, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that means. Boobs don't do that, yo! What? Dang. I mean, whatever, maybe anime tits do, but fuck. They be in her armpits right now. I've had my revenge. Now, it's over. Oh, now, see here. This is rich. Vice. We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu. How can a fighter so skilled be cursed with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. <laughs> Friends? Yes. You and I are friends now. Uh, see here, that was hardly the point. Then what is the point? Uh, Kaine, come fight with us. Fool, you can't just invite her along. There are many issues that must be carefully weighed and considered. For example, how will she possibly affect our overall ability to... Cram it, to, book. To, uh, book? How dare you! I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of our kings. Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass, but you're also right. I need to live for something besides revenge. Then you'll join us? Character so deep. So deep. My friends on himself. My swords need a true home. But you'll do for now. Where's my damn achievement? God damn. So real quick, Resonator made. Resonator, just so you guys, maybe you guys don't know. There's a lot of doodles on notepads. He does little stickmen. It's really adorable. But he went all out today. And built his own doodle inside Minecraft. Even reinstalled Minecraft to make it, so... Jesus Christ, thank you. You didn't have to do that. I don't know why you did. But... That's wonderful anyway. Yeah, Liam O'Brien is A+. Plus. Liam O'Brien, Robin Atkin Bowles, and uh, Nolan North when he's not being Nathan Drake. Um, even though Nathan Drake is great, don't get me wrong, it's just everything is Nathan Drake. Even even when he's not playing Nathan Drake, I'm pretty sure he's asked to be Nathan Drake, so it's kind of a He's got a lot of range, too. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and apparently Steph's up next. What? Resonator's gonna make a Minecraft doodle of you. Woo! 
Not a fan of Laura Bailey? No. Her work is great. I I didn't bring her up just then because previously I was saying how much I like her voice work in this game. Sod. Deeper than desert. Huh. Steve Blum? Yeah, he's solid. Um, super solid. I gotta say, the pacing in this game so far is very JRPG-esque, you know? Do your first few quests, pick up a party member, that party member cues you into the next thing you do, you go and do that. And it's in, like, another town and another biome. Because now we gotta go to, like, probably a desert area or something. Alright. Cool. Let me take a moment to respect the woman singing right now. Sure. Okay. Respect complete. Are you extra thick? I think I am. Pretty thick guy. I got a, got a barrel chest. Those twenty, those twenty achievement points are sitting real pretty right now. Mmm, three of forty-one. Got him. Fucking got him. Collected those achievement points like so many waifus. Are they all secret? Oh, it's just like a lot of completions and shit. Oh, and time limits on bosses. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not gonna get any of those. Or ten. Who cares? All right. I think that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm. I think if I'm streaming in the evening, it's probably just gonna have to be on YouTube, just force of necessity. I think. Uh, I think my my theory is that in this building there is an outdated router somewhere, some megabit router, maybe for like the bottom floor, maybe for the entire building. I don't know. Maybe it's a gigabit router. Maybe it's something that needs to be even higher capacity. But I think once. Uh, in the evening, once everybody in this building starts watching Netflix, I just don't have the, the uh, stability I need to stream to Twitch. I mean, it's... It's tough. Uh, huh. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what's there to do? I'm a two-year sub. Yeah, see, that's what I feel extra bad about. Um, are we going to have to switch our sub to Twitch over to sponsoring on YouTube? Uh, if you want, man, it's up to you. This is the thing I didn't want to do. I didn't want it to have people divide their money. Hey, here's here's what it may shake out as. How about YouTube on during the week, Twitch on the weekends? Because I think in the weekends, I typically stream during the day, and uh, it's actually been pretty reliable then. Oh, hey, Daedalus, nice to see you again. But yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm wrapping up right now. I definitely, like, you don't have to pay for either. That's up to you guys. I would never, I would never ask you to. Um, is that stupid? But, uh, yeah, for me, it's just I want people to have a nice chat or a nice stream experience. It's not fun to have something choppy, even if it's background noise. So, you know, if you're lurking or if you're participating in chat, I think uh, even if YouTube chat maybe isn't ideal, I think having a steady stream is still better. You know, it's up to you guys. Um, you don't have to pay anywhere. I wouldn't ask for you to, and certainly you don't get anything for it. I say we give Daedalus the first YouTube sub hype to close the stream. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, there was a gentleman that, that super chatted 10 bucks to me earlier. Way earlier. I lost his name, but... I think we can do that. I think we can do that. I sub before he did. Oh, yeah, you did. Shit. Shit. That's right, I haven't been playing those out. What time of day do you usually stream on YouTube during the week? It'll probably be around 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Pacific, so whatever time is now, two hours ago for you. Uh, yeah, I play, I play Jam. <laughs> I immediately unsponsored. All right, then. Yeah, Omar, at least is my favorite, too, so I don't, I don't, uh, do not... Do not resent your sentiment in the least. Alright. I like this. Yeah, no signal. It's going to be no signal stream for a bit here while I play out a sub-hype. 
so typically on Twitch, what I do is whenever somebody subscribes, um, which is pledge some sort of recurring money, which I think is stupid. I don't know why anyone would do that, but people choose to do it. Um, so I use the occasion to do something I want to do again, which is play music. Uh, so it's typically I'll dedicate a song to someone. If their username inspires anything, I'll play that, but, uh, I'll do this. Yeah, Daedalus is a sponsor. Daedalus, I'm dedicating this one to you at the behest of Chris. Seabutts. Um, so, hopefully it's your style. If it's not, I apologize about that. I may only be the world's most popular DJ, but sometimes I don't play the right track, so. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, this will be the end of the stream. So, Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you next time. Line. These are your skill chip implants. They're mounted in your portable chip array and activated vocally. Let's have a look. He's just the thing this department's been after for a long time. You've seen the state this city streets are in. No, I don't think so. Oh, great. Sarah? I just don't get off on babysitting some robo rookie on his first patrol. You will do exactly as you've been ordered. Now remember, the Cyber Swine unit isn't fully operational yet. This is to be an orientation patrol. Nothing dangerous or strenuous or... Or useful. Yeah, Chief, I get the picture. Come on, pig boy. Exclusive CameraNet pictures live yeah. from police headquarters as Cyber City Law Enforcement unveil their latest weapon in the fight against crime. This cyborg or mechanimal is known as CyberSwine. With an impressive arsenal of weapons and skill chips, CyberSwine is the solution to our city's crime problems. How is there only time will tell? Let's all hope that Cyber City's criminals don't turn. The pawns are now in place. You've made the modifications to his personality chips? Yes, sir. As you ordered. Good. Let the game begin. Holistically minded cyberpunks have developed designer foods and vitamins to promote learning, psychic flexibility, and increase the mind's bandwidth. When penetrating a secure system or making a run, a cyberpunk needs to be highly alert. The slightest entry error could mean disaster. These uncontrolled substances descend from the psychotropic experimentation of the 60s, 
legal drugs that make one smarter. Stop playing with that thing. I've just got to adjust this. Give me the sequence calculations. Now! They're already done. I wonder if it will be raining. Stand by. Herr Hitler! Was ist los? Ich habe keine Zeit, hier rumzustehen. Ja, ich verstehe. Did you find him? Hitler is out of the way. Congratulations, Professor. With Hitler removed... Time will tell. Sooner or later.